Hey guys, it's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur, and here is where I help soccer trainers who are passionate about training and help them turn their passion training into a business. And this is episode number four of our Q&A. If you've missed our previous episodes, you can go just click the videos tab on our YouTube channel. Go check that out. Uh, here's where I answer a lot of questions that trainers have for me, um, and I basically gather up all the questions that I get from coaches who send me emails. So if you're on my email newsletter, um, that's where I communicate with coaches. Uh, so if you want to go check out my email newsletter, it's free. I send out very valuable content um, a couple times a week there. If you're looking to start your own soccer business, uh, go ahead and click the link below this video. It's the first link in the description so you can join that newsletter. So in today's video, I think this is a topic that is near and dear to my heart because a lot of times I get this question and this is what I did for years. So the question I got is, hey coach, I feel like I'm grinding out, grinding it out at the field. I am out there all the time and sometimes you know players don't show up. I'm training on other people's schedules. I don't have a set schedule. So I'm constantly at the fields. And so my response, is very blunt and I'm gonna get straight to the point. But first I'm gonna tell you how it was for me when I first started. So my biggest problem when I started training was I was too nice. I was Mr. Nice Guy. I would get on the phone with parents and whenever they wanted to train, I was gonna train. Um, if someone called me on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock and wanted to train with me at three o'clock, I would go out to the fields. Um, sometimes people wouldn't even show up when they would do that. So I got taken advantage of my time was really not my time. It was whenever they're free, that's when we're going to train. And it got to a certain point where I remember very clearly, like on Sundays, that would for some reason be the most popular day I would train players, um, throughout the school year. And there'd be some times where I would train between the hours of like six in the morning or seven in the morning till five or six at night. I would be at the field for 11 to 12 hours. And a lot of those sessions that I would train weren't even scheduled sessions. Those were people just like knowing that I would be free on Sunday. And so they would hit me up and I would try to schedule them in. And there's so many problems when that happens because you'll never be able to maintain a high quality training session if you're dead tired. And if you're going into the session thinking like, oh man, they're you know, they weren't supposed to come today, but they're coming anyways. And when you have that mindset, that's going to take you away from the training session. So here's my advice. And here's what I would do. If you feel like you're grinding out the fields, there's, you know, people coming whenever they want to show up, uh, they show up late, like there, there's really no structure behind what you're doing. This is where you have to step up and be the leader. You need to lead every conversation you have with parents. You need to dictate your schedule. The whole purpose for any person who starts their own business, in my head, should be to control your schedule. I mean, this is your thing. If you're not controlling your schedule, then you're always going to be on everybody else's time. And you don't want to do what I did. I mean, I did that for two or three years before I figured out, you know what? My time is pretty valuable too. Um, I'm going to set my own schedule. And now if you were, let's say you were a parent calling me and wanting to go train with me tomorrow, there's no way I would do that. Um, and I wouldn't even care if you paid online for six months of training. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it when I know I'm free. Um, and that's why for me personally, I like to train players on a set schedule. We do not deviate from that schedule. And this allows me to know exactly when I'm training where I'm training and who I'm training. And those three things are so key because let's say I go out to the field tomorrow and three parents call me up during my session. I can't see it until after my sessions are over and they all want to come train with me that day. And maybe they want to come later on in the day. Well, then I have to stay out at the fields. Um, then I have to feel, I feel like I'm basically a slave at that point uh, because then I'm just kind of taking orders. I'm, I'm doing what people want me to do. And there's a big difference between being a soccer trainer and a business owner. And I'm gonna say that again, there's a huge difference between being a soccer trainer and a business owner. And this is where 
a lot of trainers out there, they get it wrong. They do what I used to do. Um, and they're out the fields all day long. They, they don't have a business set up. They don't have terms and a structure in place to where you accept players. And this is what I'm so strong about here at Soccer Entrepreneur. I mean, I my goal is to teach trainers the business side to where you're not grinding it out all the time. You're not taking phone calls after your sessions are over when you want to go home and chill uh, and you have to stay out the field because people want to train with you. You don't want to turn this into that type of business. Um, you want this to be structured where you know who you're training, you know where you're training, you know when you're doing it, and you're not taking anyone else outside of those hours. Um, and the way I look at it, if you think about a doctor, doctors aren't going to just hang out at the office all day long and just see random people. They know exactly who they're seeing. It's already set up. They're not going to spend extra time at the office bring, you know, talking to, to new clients who, who might need their help. They're going in, they're leaving when they say they're going to leave. And that's the end of the story. Um, and that's why, you know, when I realized the value of my time, I started to look at other industries and, and be like, man, you know, if they can do it, why can't I do that? Why can't I structure my time the same way? And so if you want to eliminate, you know, the struggles you're having with parents, with scheduling and all that stuff, that's why I created my four week course. I feel like that is kind of the go to business course for soccer coaches who want to start a private training academy um, that can include private one on one training, group training, camps, clinics, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, and I walk through step-by-step step how to get customers the right way to where they're on your system, where you're not having to do those sorts of, those sorts of things out the field where you're just taking orders. You're an order taker. I, I don't like that concept. I did it before. It does not work. And a lot of coaches out there have asked me, you know, how can we get away from that? Because, you know, I know that's a common problem and I know how frustrating it was for me when I used to do that. And now I know how liberating it is knowing that I'm going to train who I want to train on the hours I want to train. And I have 100% control of my schedule. And a lot of people out there who know me personally, they know that I am a control freak. And I think that's actually a really positive thing. And to me, it doesn't matter what other people's perception is of me. I know how I want to spend my time. And I know how I don't want to spend my time. And so I protect my time. My time is a very valuable asset. I think it's the most important asset I have. And it's the most important asset you have. You know, how you spend your time is going to dictate the happiness you have within your own life. So you can either be an order taker and, you know, just continue going out to the fields and be on standby for training sessions, or you can be the boss and know that you're doing this this day, you're doing this the other day, and that's it. Um, and this gets people on your schedule. So my answer, should you keep grinding it out? The answer is no. You need to be smarter with your time. You need to leverage your time. And you need to have other parents and, and their son or daughters on your schedule. Not you are on theirs. They are on your schedule. And I know that's a different way of looking at it because... I mean, right now I have a lot of trainers from coachup.com who hit me up. They're, they're on there and people can go and select the time, the day, like they're, they're basically just picking on there when they're going to show up. And I don't like that, that model. Um, and I feel like I've made multiple videos about coach up about why I don't agree with being on there. If you're a trainer, like if you're actually looking at this as a full-time business, um, you shouldn't be on there. Um, uh, but that model of people going and selecting and picking time to train with you and they can go pay and they can, you know, set this up on a certain time. That's not good for you because then you're going to be alerted that, Oh, this person wants to train at this time. I mean, wouldn't you rather talk to them over the phone and, and fit them into a time slot where you're going to be at the field already. That, that just makes a lot more sense. So this is why I think you have to step up as the business owner, um, and know that you are in charge of your academy and your training. So you should be the one dictating when players come and when they're allowed to come. Um, and I think that's really important because uh, some trainers out there have asked me um, about how some players uh, can only come on certain days. Well, have you asked their parents that, or have you told the parents that you're only available on these other two days that 
you might think that they might not be um, available on, well, that's up to you. And I know for me right now, I only train on Thursdays and Fridays. Those are the only two days that I'm training. Um, and if someone can't do that, I'm not going to train them. Um, that, that's totally cool with me. I'm, I'm dedicating those two days to training. That's all I'm doing. Um, and it works very well because I know when someone can fit on one of those two days, they're going to be in as long as I know that I want to train that player or not. Um, so that's really it for this video. If you have any questions about any of that stuff, I mean, I dive way deeper in our four, four week business course. Uh, you can go below the video in the description, go check that out. Um, that's starting to become pretty popular now with coaches out there who want to learn how to start and scale their academy. Um, and I go very deep about, you know, everything that's working for me right now within my own business in that program. So you can go check that out. Um, if you have any questions for me, comment below this video and I'll see you on the next episode.